हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बी वाई ओ ए दैट इज़ बिल्ड योर ओन ऐप आम धीरज एन एंटरप्राइज आर्किटेक्ट विथ 23 प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई वाज़ द प्रिंसिपल आर्किटेक्ट फॉर फिनिकल चैनल बैंकिंग एट इन्फोसिस करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज अ सी टी ओ इन वन ऑफ द स्टार्टअप एंड एट द सेम टाइम आई डू प्रोवाइड टेक्निकल कंसल्टेंसीज फॉर द कंपनीज विल हैव दिस वीडियो इन टू पार्ट्स In the first part, we will have a simple CRUD using uh, Go Language Gen framework. In the second video, we will see how we can make this generic uh, this CRUD into a generic CRUD, where you have to write just the model, and no other coding is required. Okay, so let's get a start uh, and make a CRUD framework using Go Language Gen. We'll use the VS Code for the same. Creating a new folder. Gin slash rest API. Okay, let us just. Okay, here I will create a main file. Main dot go. Okay, now let's just go to the. So we need to install the gin. so here you can install you go to the gin page take it and install it using the terminal okay similarly for gorm that is the go orm you copy this particular line and run in the terminal and install it once you have done just copy this code and just copy paste here so now your server is ready we have just imported the gin and here is uh, we create a default router and here is one of the paths where you know if you uh, in the browser says ping it will give you the message pong and the server is running here at 8080 so let's let's just see that if you know the application is working or not so let's start the application Yeah, the server is running. Let's just go to the browser. Okay, HTTP colon localhost eighty eighty. Yeah, so we got the response pong. The server is working. Okay, so now let us connect to the database. I will create a file called config dot go. We'll just add configuration to connect to database here so i have already written the code i will just copy it here okay so here i am using postgres you can use mysql sql lite whatever so we have installed the driver for postgres now here it is you know the connection is string the url here user id is postgres uh, password is psql123 This is local host. This is the port on which it is running. So I am using a Docker for Postgres. So you can use either Docker or you know you can install it. And this is the database which will create. Okay. So I will just go to DB Viewer. I will create a new database which is Go. Okay. Yeah. So if you see here, okay, there are no tables as of now. Okay. so here we are making a db connection okay and this is you know uh, db auto migrate is basically to create the uh, you know the tables for the um, uh, for whatever models you have created okay so we'll do that okay now let us create a base model which is the go so this has all the fields which are generally required in all the tables so it, this is the id this is created by who has created this particular record when it was created here if you look at auto create time so you know the creation time will be automatically filled who has modified uh, when it was modified version which will discuss later and the del flag you know for the soft delete okay 
now let us create a user model okay so here we have first name last name email let me just remove manually approve for the time being okay so age this is what we have okay now this is uh, sometimes it gives this error okay anyhow so yeah so this is the model and this is the names in the database which is you know will create with first name last name email and age so let me just rename so base model okay now let us go to the main and we will just call this initial con uh, method so that the database can get created okay here so now let us run it yeah it's started running so let us go to the database now and see if the tables are created yeah so see the uh, table is created first name last name email age id created by so we have all the fields over here okay now let us create the user service the user service.co okay create user so here this is you know the gin context using the gin context we can get the writer and we are setting the content type which is application json okay here we create the user struct and whatever the for create uh, user whatever the request comes we take it out and put it into the uh, we pass the pointer here and you know that all the uh, values get copied into the user then we call the db.create user and once it is created we are sending back whatever is created uh, back here so just to note we are not doing any validations you know uh, in the next video maybe we will be doing the validations okay now let us just go to the main here and we will just create our sorry our dot post okay slash user okay so here we have our endpoint r dot post so now let us go and uh, run our server we'll just run without debugging okay so server is running now so here it is postman now let us uh, you know just sorry yeah okay so this is the body we have created first name last name email okay and just let us send that so we got the response if you see uh, first name dheeraj email created by we have not put so it doesn't come but the created on the time and modified on the time comes here version number is 1 and the del flag is in so if you go to the database here it is refresh okay so the record is created okay now let us look at get users where we are trying to get all the users the list of users so again you know we have created this method in user service so here it is you know uh, the list of all the users so we have created a pointer to that the point we are so db dot find we are doing where we are passing this pointer to the users and once we get all the users we are just encoding and you know sending it back here so now let us go to the main and you know add r dot get users slash users and we say get users okay so similarly let us go and create this we have already created i'm just you know showing that 
here we are getting uh, a particular user by id okay so we have created the struct we are saying db.first whatever so there will only be one by that id but yeah we are getting the first here we are passing the pointer and this param will come from the url so we are taking that param if there are no uh, records found with that uh, particular id then we are returning record not found otherwise we are uh, you know sending back that particular user details so here again we say just copy this we say user uh, we user okay so now let us run it so here we go yeah so let us do a get The users we have created one user we got that and if you hear one if we do with one we got that let's say we try with two there is no user with two so record not found now let us look at update user here uh, you know what we had done in get user we are uh, getting the user with the id if the user does not exist then we are throwing back the error as record not found if the user exists uh to that particular user we are uh you know putting the values what is sent from the front end so let us say if it is you know uh, first name last name and you are updating only first name uh we are just uh you know updating the first name on the whole user data and then putting it saving it back to the database so now let us go to main here we see r dot put Okay, we see slash user slash ID. So for this ID, we do that and update user. Okay. So we run the server again. Okay. Now let's go back here. So let us see we see put okay yeah let me just yeah so so we are so the name was dheeraj we are just updating it to pankaj let us say so now the a name has been updated let us go and check in the database also so the first name is changed to pankaj okay now let us look at now let us look at delete user so here is the delete so we are again following the same thing we are first checking if the uh, record exists or not if not uh, then we throw an error otherwise uh, no sorry here we are directly doing the delete if the uh, result is zero that you know that record does not exist uh, we are saying record not found. Otherwise, the user is deleted successfully. Okay. So now let's go to the main. Here we see our uh, delete. Uh, okay. User slash colon id. That is what it is now. Re let's reload the application. Okay, now let's go here. Say delete. So let's first try uh, with the ID 2. Now, obviously, this doesn't exist, so it should say record not found. Record not found. Okay, now let us do with one user data successfully. So now let us try to do uh, get user with one record not found also if you see in the database we refresh it's not there okay 